Hey there, tech enthusiasts, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to install Nginx on a Windows machine. Whether you're setting up a development environment or just curious about Nginx, this guide will take you through each step. So, let's dive right in. Nginx is a powerful web server that's also used as a reverse proxy, load balancer, and HTTP cache. It's known for its high performance and low resource consumption. Before we start the installation, make sure you have administrative access to your Windows machine. First, we need to download Nginx. Open your web browser and go to nginx.org. Once you're there, click on the download button at the top of the page. Select the version you want and download its zip file to your PC. Nginx recommends using the mainline version because it includes the latest features. However, if you don't need those features, the most recent stable version is also a great choice. Once the download is complete, Navigate to your Downloads folder and locate the Nginx zip file. Right-click on it and select Extract All. Choose a destination for the extracted files. I recommend creating a new folder in your C drive called Nginx. Now open the command prompt with administrative privileges. Let us now navigate to the directory where you extracted Nginx. You can now start Nginx by typing start and then Nginx, then press enter. You might encounter a Windows Defender firewall block screen when running the Nginx server. Make sure to allow it through the firewall. Once that's done, you'll be able to use Nginx on your Windows device without any issues. Nginx is now running. To verify, open your web browser and go to HTTP localhost. You should see the Nginx welcome page. Here are some of the basic commands you can use to manage Nginx. To stop Nginx you can use this command. To gracefully stop the Nginx server use this command. When you issue this command, Nginx completes any active requests it is currently processing, then stops accepting new connections and shuts down the worker processes. This ensures that the server shuts down cleanly without abruptly terminating ongoing connections. To reload the Nginx configuration file, use this command. The command is used to reload the Nginx configuration without stopping the server. When you issue this command, Nginx rereads its configuration files and applies any changes. This is useful for updating configurations on the fly without disrupting active connections or requiring a complete server restart. To reopen the Nginx log files, use this command. The command is used to reopen the log files for Nginx. This is particularly useful after the log files have been rotated, for example, by a log rotation utility. When you issue this command, Nginx closes its current log files and reopens them, allowing the new log files to start being used without needing to restart the Nginx server. This ensures that logging continues seamlessly with the new log files. Let us open up the Nginx folder. The HTML folder in the Nginx directory serves as the default location for web content. By default, Nginx is configured to serve static files from this folder. When you install Nginx and start the server, it looks for HTML files and other static assets such as images, CSS, and JavaScript files in the HTML folder to serve them to clients. For example, if you navigate to HTTP localhost after starting Nginx, it will serve the index.html file from the HTML folder, if it exists. This makes the HTML folder the default document root for your web server. 
You can customize the location of this folder by editing the nginx configuration file nginx.config and changing the root directive within the server block to point to a different directory if needed. The nginx.conf file is the main configuration file for the nginx web server. This file defines the settings and directives that control the behavior of the nginx server. The nginx.conf file is essential for defining how nginx operates, handling requests, and serving content. Properly configuring this file ensures your Nginx server runs efficiently and securely. For those of you who want to go further, you can modify the Nginx.conf file to host multiple sites, set up reverse proxy configurations, and more. The official Nginx documentation and community forums are great resources for learning advanced configurations. And that's it. You've successfully installed and run Nginx on your Windows machine. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.